Welcome guys! Today we are going to learn how can we pick and also crop images in Flutter. It's going to be fun and amazing. By the way, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe the channel. Now let's continue the video. The first thing you do is to open publicspeak.yaml file and add these two packages. Once it's done, run PubKit to retrieve the packages. We will need them to pick and crop images. This is our starting code. We have an stateless widget and inside it there is a column with two children. An asset image when there is no photo selected and a simple text button. Also, here we have a dialog widget which has simply a text button. Here we have the parameters, a string text and a void function called unpressed. Open homepage and inside unpressed in peak image button when it is clicked we want to show a dialog which returns a simple dialog. In children, I will create three dialog widgets which we already created them. The text is take image with camera and unpressed is empty. I will copy and paste it two more times and change the second text for gallery and the third one to cancel. When these dialogs are clicked, we need to pick image. So let's create a file called methods and create the first method called pick image, which has image source as parameter. Use image picker class and call pick image. The source will be the image source. Make sure it is asynchronous and await it. Then put it inside the file, which is a type X file, but we don't need it. That's why that I will change it to a file type like this. Finally, if it is not null, return the image. Come to the home page in the onpress for the camera. Make it asynchronous and call peak image. Provide the image source of camera and then navigate back. Now we need to change the state this widget into a stateful widget and call the set state. The result of this function is an image which I will bring it top in the state. Now copy all this stuff from here to gallery as well. Just change image source to gallery. Finally, when cancel is clicked, we just want to navigate back. If when everything is done, just go ahead and run the project. Here you can see when I click here, a dialog pops up and I can choose image from gallery. Now let's actually display the image. I create a condition that if the image is not null, we show the selected image and otherwise the asset image. I will also change the height to 320 and the fit to boxfit.cover. Now when I choose the image, it displays here. We are completely done from picking the image, so now let's work on the exciting part which is cropping the image. We have already installed the package image cropper, so let's start it. Create a method called crop image, and the parameter is the selected image. Make it asynchronous and await it. Here I can use the image cropper class to access the crop image method. It has one required parameter source path, which you should provide the path of your image. Finally, put it inside crop file variable. There is another parameter called UI strings. As you can see, it's completely related to the UI part. So I will quickly fill it out. And finally, if it's not null, return the cropped file. In the home page, wrap the file image with gesture detector. In the on tab, call crop image. Provide the image as argument and make it asynchronous. Now I need to put it inside crop file, so let's create it in the state real quick. Here I forgot one step, as you can see this is the type crop file, but we need a file type. So once again I'm gonna change it, and once it is done I can just return the cropped image. Now go back to the home page, and in the on top property, when the image is cropped, you can do a set state, and finally put it inside the image. Now you can see when I click this button, I can choose an image. And it displays here and when I click it, I can also crop it and it's really nice. 